Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. So I know that the DA is hard at work dissecting this. What went wrong, do you think? Good evening to you and good evening to the ENCA listeners. I mean, the reality, we knew going into Federal Congress about two weeks ago that the party has had some challenges. As you know, we had had some serious challenges in Northwest with our Afrikaans voters in Schweizerenica. And we also had um, some issues in terms of how we dealt with the Patricia Denil matter from the DA perspective. So we have gone back to the drawing board. We've decided to go and do a thorough analysis of why we're losing by elections. But having said that, it's also good for us to know that we've also managed to retain 14 wards within the by elections that we chose to contest. And those two that you also mentioned being Machabeng in the Free State and Walter Sisulu in Eastern Cape. Mm. So there's a lot of work in terms of analyzing elections. You can't just use one thing blanketly. There's a lot that goes into looking at what went wrong, what went right in some instances. But we need to actually be more humble around this thing and be honest with ourselves and say, we didn't always do things the right way with our loyal voters. And that's why some our voters are turned against us. And we, we intend to do everything to make sure that we rectify, win back the trust of those mm. voters so that going into the 2021 elections, they know that we are fighting for what they, what they want us to fight for. And we go back to the reasons they voted for the DA in the first place. I think the fact that we've had a policy Congress where we've acknowledged that we want to stand for a non-racial South Africa, that is the first right turn that the DA has made because our voters are people who want to be in a non-racial organization, not a, a one party for a particular race or anything, but one that unites South Africa with all the races together in it. Mm. It's interesting that um, you lost to smaller parties as well, you know, and new parties. Uh, for example, the Good Party, you know, the Patriotic Alliance, Al Jama, uh, seeming, you know, that, that voters obviously felt, well, this smaller party will meet my needs. Um, how are you going to deal with that? Look, I, obviously we're still doing analysis now. It's a bit premature to start saying we're going to fix after having lost only yesterday. So we had a couple of meetings today where we started dissecting the losses. You can imagine there's quite a lot of losses across the country and wins across the country. The dynamics in the different provinces are also different. So we need to actually zoom in far details. It's difficult to come out now and say we definitely have a solution now. But now that we've started, we re recognized where we are at. But also, I think it's important to take South Africans into confidence and say, now that we've got a mandate for our federal leader, remember John has been an interim leader all along. He's now able to steer the ship and take us in the right direction. And having gone, now that we've also gone and adopted non-racialism as part of our policy back into the DA, those are sort of the starting blocks in order to rebuild the DA that South Africans can resonate with who believe in a non-racial South Africa. Mm -hmm. And we believe that's a starting to get those people that we have lost to come back to the DA versus what we had before. So, you know, if I, if I read your press release, it's, it's quite forthright. You said the DA has learned many lessons um, of its poor handling of these events. You're referring to the Swaza Reineke issue. And that, of course, let's just remind everyone, was the incident in the school where there was a photograph taken um, of a classroom and the black children and the white children were being separated. And, of course, there was a huge furore over that. The fact that the, uh, you may have lost um, freedom uh, Afrikaans voters uh, to the Freedom Front, is that a loss? Could you have handled that better? Was that badly handled? And I'm trying to work out how much is just bad handling and mismanagement and someone saying the wrong thing at the wrong time, and how much that is a feature of the Democratic Alliance, perhaps not at that point, not knowing its true identity and where it was going as a party. I think we've always known our identity. We slightly deviated from it um, in the past couple of years. But going back to identity now with our policy conference, which will ultimately become the foundation for our manifestos when we go into the local government election, is where we needed to go back to. It is, in effect, bad management. And sometimes as leaders, we need to recognize our mistakes and say, you know what, when we hand even the Patricia DeLille matter, we didn't handle it correctly as an organization. 
and for that we know that we lost colored support as a as the DA. Try as Renica as you say, we did lose um of our Africans voters and we want them to know we are committed to rectifying some of the ways manner in which we handle those matters. There's no voter who's not important to us. That's why we stand for non racialism. And I want to single out those particular um racial groups because I think the losses were more severe for us now with the by-elections of yesterday. Well, thank you very much. And some soul-searching for the party after Wednesday's by-elections. That was the DA's Refilwe Nseke.